But joining me on the sofas right now are Matt and Jimmy from Switches. Hello, lads. Hello to Hiya. you. How are you? Good. Good, yeah? Very good. Happy? It's a great audience tonight. Yeah, it, it's going to rock. I can we, feel we, it. We've had some mellow acts. Now yeah. we're going to rock. So watch out. Excellent. OK. Now, Matt, uh, tell us, you've been into music for a very long time. I heard that you were making demos at nursery school. Is that right? Yeah, they've, my parents have got pictures of me on the living room floor with a little Fisher-Price tape recorder and a toy piano. Three or four lying on the ground just pressing buttons and things. And that's where it started from there, really. And then my dad made me a guitar and then, hey presto, I was off. And he I've been made writing you a guitar? Yes. He used to work for the BBC and he was made redundant, but he had like a three or four month sort of like notice. So he decided like, you know, let's make the kid a guitar. Brilliant. Tell us about the band and recruiting it. I heard you, it was through email, is that right? I, I arrived at university in a place called Surrey and uh, I was kind of like a lone ranger. I used to like do demos in my room and stuff and I thought, well, it's about time I sort of had a band really. I sort of read an article on Kurt Cobain saying that he had his band together by the age of 20 and I was 20, I thought, well, it's time for me to do it. So I just sort of sent an email out to every single person in the whole university and like, like, Jim and Max, the bass player, were the only guys that kind of were on the same wavelength as me. We all liked Weezer. So that's where it started, and we used to rehearse at Jim's house, which was uh, conveniently next door to a brothel. And, in uh, Surrey? In Guildford. In Guildford? There's brothels yeah. in Guildford. We used to live above an electronics shop, so... Which is great for, if you're in a band, I advise being in, on top of an electronics shop. Yeah. If you run out of fuses or anything, just pop downstairs. And so, am I also right in thinking that you won a Battle of the Bands competition and the prize was to support the darkness? Yeah, well, we didn't win it, we got into the final and that right. was... The darkness had just... I think they just released... Was it Growing On Me or something? And they came to our uni to do a show and we got to the final of the Battle of the Bands, so that was our kind of prize for that. I actually got disqualified, though. I got... Yeah, we got disqualified because I... Well, let's not get into it, but, you know... We got disqualified? But they reinstated us because... We were kind of the only other band that could sort of maybe play with it. Play instruments. We're any good. And look at you now. Look who's oh, laughing now, yeah, eh? Yeah, look who's laughing yeah. now, you know, so, yeah. And but... what do you think of the darkness's demise? Will that happen to the Switches? No. No, definitely not. We, uh, well, I've already written the sort of second and third album anyway, so I'm hoping that we won't burn out, you know? Yeah. The ideas are flowing free and I'm um, compass mentis. OK. We'll play that again in a few years' time when you are in rehab. Um, uh, Jimmy, uh, t tell us about the live experiences, which is what, what can we expect? Um, basically, a lot, a lot of energy. We're sort of quite a lively band. Uh, sort of, we, you know, we get, we get up every night and play, like, it's what, what we've sort of been a band for. We love playing live music and just, like, we give it, all, you know, 100%, 110% every night and, uh, sound, you know, it sounds like a, being in a rugby team or something, but, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, we just love it. That's, you know, that's what we're in a band for. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Jimmy. See you on stage Cheers. very shortly. OK, up now, a glorious slice of UK R&B. <laughs> Welcome back to the album chart show. Still to come, the wonderful Glyph Reese from Super Furry Animals. But right now, a band from Essex who have been making waves ever since their appearance at the South by Southwest Festival, where they caught the attention of many an A&R man. Since then, they've supported Hard Fire and Graham Coxon with a track from their debut album. Please welcome Switches. Yeah. 